In this video, I'd like to talk about solving equations from visual models. And these models are very useful in giving a visual representation of these one variable linear equations. And this particular model here, this is what we call a hanger diagram. And in a couple problems, we'll look at what's known as a tape diagram. So two different ways to visualize what an equation might look like. And a hanger diagram is essentially based on the idea that you would have equal weights on each side so that the hanger remains balanced. So maybe we can call this weight one, and maybe this is weight two. And each of these weights, so that the hanger can be balanced, these have to be equal to each other. So we can say that weight one would be equal to weight number two. Otherwise, the hanger will essentially tip over. So we need the same amount of weight on each side. And from that, we can set up an equation. Since notice this one, where on the right hand side, it has a weight of 14. You can think of it in terms of pounds or kilograms, whatever unit you prefer. But it has a weight of 14. And on the left, it has two different weights attached to it, a weight of nine and a weight of H. But we know that the weight on the left side has to equal the weight on the right side. And on the left side, we can set this up as the weight from H plus the weight from nine, since they have to combine together. So we're gonna be adding here. And again, that must equal 14. So the equation then becomes H, that's this one, plus nine. So that'll give us the combined weight of the left side of our hanger. And this has to equal the weight on the right side, which is 14. So we can set up this equation, again, using this very visual model, this picture, just to give us a different idea of what these equations can sometimes represent. And from here, we just need to solve the equation. So we need to get H by itself to figure out that missing weight here. And we have plus nine. So to get H by itself, we wanna get rid of this plus nine. And you wanna think in terms of opposites. If you are adding nine, you can subtract nine to cancel that out. But of course we have to do it on both sides. If you just do it on one side of the equation, then you're essentially changing the equation and you'll get something that's not true. So we have to subtract nine on both sides. And plus nine minus nine, that's just zero. So these will cancel out. And what we get is just H here, plus zero essentially, is equal to 14 minus nine, which is five. And with these, it's fairly simple to check. We're gonna plug five in for H and just see if it makes sense. So on the left-hand side, we have this weight of five here and another weight added on of nine, but we know that five plus nine is 14. So you'd have a weight of 14 on the left and a weight on, of 14 on the right. And so this hanger would be balanced. It wouldn't be leaning one way or the other. So in this box, we could put five. Now let's do another one of these. And in this one on the left side, we have a weight of 24. And on the right side, we have all of these C weights. And we don't know what C is, that's what we're trying to find. But you wanna count up how many of these we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six of these C's are combined together and to keep this hanger balanced, they should be equal to 24 so that the weights on each side are the same. So let's write that out. And we could write it as all of these C's added together. So there are six of them, so C plus C plus C and then three more plus C plus C plus C. And this must equal the other side so that the weights are balanced. So it has to equal 24. Now, if you're adding a variable multiple times, you can rewrite it as multiplication. Since we have six of these, so we could just rewrite it as six C. Since six times C essentially means that there are six of them added together. Since remember, multiplication is just repeated addition. So, on the right-hand side, we know this is still equal to 24. And now we just need to solve this equation to figure out what C is. And to get C by itself, 
we need to cancel out this multiplication by 6. But again, we want to think in terms of opposites, and the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So we can divide each side of this equation by 6. Since we know that 6 divided by 6, something divided by itself is always equal to 1. And of course, you can always put division into words. If you have six baseballs and you're splitting them equally between six people, everyone would get one baseball. So this left-hand side, six divided by six is just one. So let me make just a bit more space. And so we get one C or just C. And this is equal to 24 divided by six, which is four. So we know that one C or C is equal to four, but we wanna check this. So is it true that if each of these were four, then when we combine them, do we get a, the weight of 24, which is what we need for these to be balanced? And four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four should give us 24. So if we count it up, four, then eight, 12, 16, 20, and 24. So it makes sense. We were able to check it. And visually speaking, it did make sense for us. So we can conclude that C is equal to 4 here.